In this video, we will cover setting up our HTML5 Medical Web Viewer demo. I'll provide an overview of our DICOM Web Viewer framework and show you how our HTML5 viewer fits into the framework. I'll next cover some software you need to have installed prior to setting up the demo. I'll provide a brief description of our PAC server framework and walk you through setting up the database and PAC server. And finally, I'll show you how to set up the virtual directories and configure the demo. Our HTML5 viewer and RESTful service is part of a component-based framework designed to allow you to use as is or to customize by simply altering the source code provided. We call this our medical web viewer framework. The center of the framework is our collection of web services. We provide both RESTful and SOAP services. The client will make calls to the web services who make calls to the add-ins that either make calls to the data access layers accessing a database or act on remote packs. The information is then delivered back to the client in the reverse direction. The web services provide typical industry features you will need in a medical web viewer application. However, should you need to use any custom data, the function calls have a user data parameter that can be passed to our add-ins. The add-ins provide the functionality for a particular DICOM service. When the user of a client initiates a query of their local database, local to the web server, the message will travel from the client to the web service. The web service then creates the query add-in and passes the query information. The query add-in using the DAO then queries the database. The information from the database is then passed back to the add-in, who passes it to the web service, who passes it back to the client. At each stage in the process, we provide the boilerplate code you can extend to fit your project's needs. Prior to setting up the framework, you will need to have some software already installed. First, you'll need IIS to host web services and to host the websites containing the client-side applications. Next, you'll need to be sure you have an HTML5-capable browser. To ensure your browser does support HTML5, check the version number of the browser and ensure it is at least one of the versions shown. And finally, you'll need to be sure you have SQL Server 2008 or SQL Server 2008 Express installed as all our demos are pre-configured to use this database provider. To download the installer for our evaluation, browse to www.leadtools.com and click on the download link. Once you have arrived at the download page, select the leadtoolsmain.exe. When running the installer, ensure you have HTML5, PAX Framework, and .NET checked. Now that the toolkit has been installed, we'll need to set up the Lead Tools Medical Web Framework. Let's start by browsing to the HTML5 directory in the Lead Tools program files and selecting Medical, then Medical Web Viewer. You'll see that we have some aptly named shortcuts. You'll run the Run This First configuration demo to install and configure the PAX Server Framework. The PAC server framework is similar to the web viewer framework in that there is a client server communication and the server component communicates with add-ins who in turn communicate with a data access layer. Also, the source code to the add-ins are provided to allow you to adjust where the add-ins store or retrieve DICOM information. The PAC server framework differs from the web viewer framework in that the client server communication is performed using DICOM protocol as opposed to REST or SOAP and the PAX framework services are Windows services instead of web services. First, we'll set up the databases we need. After double-clicking the Run This First shortcut, you'll be informed the PAX server framework's databases have not been configured and asked if you want to configure them. Click Yes to launch the Database Configuration Manager to configure the databases. For the HTML5 Medical Web Viewer demo, we'll need to set up just the storage server database. Click the Change button and ensure you select the SQL Server option to create a SQL Server database. The HTML5 Medical Web Viewer demo requires this database provider.
Next, press OK to accept the defaults. Now press the Apply Configuration Options button and click OK on the review screen. Once you see that the database was created successfully, click OK to close the dialog. Next you'll see the PAX Configuration dialog. This dialog allows you to install and start the Windows services for each DICOM server. The HTML5 Medical Web Viewer demo uses the storage server service as a listening service. When a retrieve is performed from a remote PAX, this is the service where the remote PAX will store the data set. For this demo, simply press the Configure button. Once all the services are configured, close this dialog. This completes setting up the PAC server framework. Next, we must create the virtual directories for the client-side application and the server-side web service. Double-click the Run This Second shortcut to run the services host manager. Initially, you'll see the details for the server-side and client-side directories. This demo gives you the path to the project and the name of the virtual directories. Click Next to proceed. In the Setup tab, we list for you the IP address of your machine, its IIS version number, and the application pool we will create for the two virtual directories. In the dropdowns, you can choose whether to use .NET 2.0 or 4.0, and whether to use 32-bit or 64-bit when creating the web applications. We'll take the default values of .NET 2.0 and 32-bit. Also, when checked, the demo will create the application pools and web applications for you when you press Next. You can also delete the application pools and web applications using this button should the need arise. Let's press the Next button. You can see the application pools and web applications being created. Once finished, press the Test All button to ensure the web service installed correctly. Should you face any issues in running this configuration, we provide some tips on how to get everything going. Check our Help button first to see if any of its suggestions help. If not, try the Troubleshoot button next. Now that we're finished, we can close the application. To run the HTML5 Medical Web Viewer Demo, double-click the Run Web Viewer Demo shortcut. This will launch the final configuration demo. You'll see in red some issues that may need resolved. This demo uses the same database as the storage server demo. However, the database needs extra columns that this demo will add. Press the Fix Problems button to add the extra columns and fix the other issues. Once the issues have been resolved, you can press the Run Viewer button to launch the viewer. This concludes setting up the HTML5 Medical Web Viewer demo. For an overview on how to use the demo, please watch the corresponding video.